Good evening from Nook, Greenland. We have made it to the capital and we got here uh, the day before yesterday, but the weather was really, really crummy up until this morning. And it's gotten progressively better, which is very good news for us because we are going on a, uh, an adventure today. We're taking Nook Water Taxi way out into the back of the fjord because they have a, uh, a brand new kind of service, like tourist experience, and they're looking to market it to photographers. And we happen to be a group of photographers, which is perfect. We're going to be the uh, the first group also actually staying out there. So you've got something to look forward to in this video. It's a brand new adventure 2022 August in Nook, Greenland. All starts right now. Let's go. Yo. Yo. Are you coming with us? Yeah. Nice. You have a camera with you? You see our northern lights photos? I saw and I <laughs> that was we got really so excited. Man. That was so awesome. We got so there. Uh, this is my fresh shopping. I just I uh, got some pizza and uh, this bottle. And uh, this shopping cart came out of the ocean. I'm uh, getting on. Jacket matches the ship. Uh, today I dressed like the boat. Yeah. We are on the Nook Fjord with the water taxi. You can see the second boat behind me here. We split our crew into two boats. So we've got four with me on this side and four with Brendan over there. And uh, uh, we've got two local guides as well and two drivers of the boat. So really a cool experience so far to be out here on the water. And I wanted to touch briefly on Nook Water Taxi because as much as the, uh, the boats look like traditional taxis and in the name you would expect it just to be a service that takes you from one place to the other, Nook Water Taxi operates much more like a traditional tour operator offering uh, unique kind of experiences while you're here in Nook, especially obviously on the water, taking you out into the, the back of the fjord where there's a lot of icebergs and glaciers and good hiking. So one of the, uh, the things that we're doing here is a very unique uh, group and photography experience going way back into the very back of the Nook Fjord where they have set up a campsite for the summer months only. And with weather like this, it looks like it could be absolutely perfect uh, for us to uh, shoot sunset and also stay overnight with possibly more northern lights. If you saw the end of the last video, that was insane. So we're kind of hoping that we see the northern lights again tonight and then shoot some epic sunrise tomorrow. So all that is coming up in this video if, if the conditions uh, continue to work in our favor, which so far they have been. So very unique experience and shout out to Nook Water Taxi and specifically Lassa who helped organize this for us. Uh, something that we were wanting to do as part of the tour anyway. And another great example of how uh, photography workshops can create some really unique experiences to capture some amazing travel landscape and wildlife photo opportunities. So we're gonna head into the back of the fjord and see if we can see some ice. Holy shit! Whoa! Well, that was dangerous! Holy shit! <laughs> And after an incredible boat ride, we have made it to our evening's accommodation. 
Those little white dots on the hillside behind me are tents that are set up on platforms and they've been set up and open to the public for a couple months now and they were just uh, built. This campsite was just created really this summer. So it's a brand new product from the uh, Nook Water Taxi and they've been kind enough to, uh, to let us be the first photography group to stay here overnight. So a very unique and cool experience uh, for our group and for us and it is bluebird right now. There's not a cloud in the sky and uh, blue hour is definitely upon us and I think hopefully you know we could get some action tonight. Let's see. I don't want to I, I can't ever like say that the northern lights are coming but after the end of last video it's like hard to not expect them at this point so yeah hopefully i'm not lying to you but uh we're gonna get off here and check out the tents that's not nice Not right now, I don't think. We all go to the main tank together. Yeah. yeah. You can get back to Yeah. All right, we're inside the tent. This is the uh, the dinner tent. Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, the, the BT. Yeah, big tent one. <laughs> big Tent 1 and Big Tent 2 doesn't exist yet? Not yet, we're no. still building it. But there will be a BT2. Big Tent 1 has candy. Ah, oh, Brennan's favorite thing, candy. Man doesn't drink alcohol, but he eats candy like you wouldn't believe. So yeah, this place is sick. It actually really reminds me of like a safari tent. You know what it reminds me of? Mm. Mongolia. Yeah. Especially check out my check out my Mongolia. Mongolia was not this comfortable. My, my, but. Con, my con chair. It's like my con chair over here. Bren Khan Van Son. Brendan Khan Son. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is sick. So we got to introduce Lassa. Lassa, say hello. Yo. This is the guy who uh, basically organized all this for us, which is sick. Brendan had the idea to come into the Nook Fjord, and uh, when you met Lassa right in Kangalusua, yeah, right. he was like, I got something better. And <laughs> this is pretty sick. So we got a bluebird uh, evening. Hopefully, you get some northern lights. If not, I'll see you tomorrow for supper. All right, we're back in the tent and it is almost 3 a.m. in the morning. Sun rises in two hours and that was an insane Northern Lights session. Like, 
out of this world. The best uh, Aurora Borealis that I've ever seen and that tops the best that I'd ever seen which we shot two days ago in Sissimute which was at the end of the last video. So I must like make a point about the Northern Lights because I really didn't talk about it at all uh, from Sissimute and that was, uh, was a really good show. We ended up staying at the bottom of that hike where we went to the summit of the mountain which is kind of the main subject of the last video uh, and we decided to stay because sun sets so late and I did mention that briefly in that video and uh, we stayed till about midnight and that's when the uh, northern lights really started to pop off and we ended up getting back at about 2 in the morning and I got some really really good photographs from that session then fast forward a couple days later here in Nook and we knew that the weather was gonna have a break overnight here while we were camping at this incredible spot with really dark skies and amazing uh, stars so we were thinking northern lights even at KP2 could uh, could put on a show once again and wow did they ever do so so today we were less chaotic and I think that's a really important point to make we had more time to focus on getting foreground images getting multiple images of the same composition to be able to stack them in post and really kind of focus in on the details and the technical side of Astro which I personally do not get to do very often but I do know a little bit about and this is the kind of practice that makes me a better photographer and uh, also so shooting with two cameras really helps. I've got the Canon EOS R doing a three hour time lapse of the main tent and they're keeping the lights on on the tent as well so we can get that really dynamic uh, contrast between the orange of the light in the tent and of course the uh, the blue stars and the dark blue sky and the green and purple uh, northern lights which is insane. So yeah I hope you enjoyed that footage. Amazing photographs just a uh, top-notch photography experience here in Greenland and uh, one that'll go down in the history books for me is uh, right now the best uh, Aurora Borealis I've ever seen. So time to get two hours of sleep. We'll see you at sunrise. Good morning from uh, the next morning. It is 6 a.m. so didn't really sleep very much but that's to be expected in a location like this with the Northern Lights show like we got last night. And then a banger sunrise that we got like three hours later. Not even, two hours from the, the last piece to camera in the tent there. I got up at quarter after five and there were streaks of red across the sky and probably like Half of the uh, the workshop participants were already up shooting and uh, we were privy to a pretty incredible sight. So it's still happening here this morning. We're getting some beautiful Alpine glow. I've got the, uh, the Canon EOS R time-lapsing this scene. Some tents down there. Brendan's awake. He's down there uh, at that set of tents. And it's gonna be a good day. We're exploring this uh, campsite area from the Nook Water Taxi. And what a location, I think that uh, there's a lot of day hiking we can do from here and see some some of these alpine lakes and hopefully some more epic views of these mountains and it looks like we got a bit of snow even last night too it was real cold so which i didn't even notice at all because we were so excited about shooting the northern lights but yeah here we are exploring some of the area and uh, some beautiful greenlandic scenery
All right, and we're about an hour into the hike and Lassa has just told me that all these little plants that are kind of uh, growing on top of the mossy soil, which is extremely soft by the way, and a pleasure to walk on. It's like walking on a mattress, Sleep Country Canada. And it's all gonna turn red in the next couple of weeks. So you can already see it kind of changing color in the background here. And he said that in about two weeks, so middle of September, it's just gonna be absolutely like covered in uh, this beautiful crimson red color. And it reminds me so much of Patagonia. Really, really beautiful, you know, kind of shrubland in a way. Uh, in Patagonia, they are admittedly a little bit bigger, um, but uh, this is just beautiful. It really is a pristine natural environment. And uh, he said too that this lake behind us uh, doesn't even have a name. You know, there's all these incredible uh, tarns and, and lakes that are river fed from, from the glaciers. And uh, there's just so many of them that, yeah, some of them don't have names. kilometers later and just over five hours and another amazing day hike here in Greenland and once again I am just absolutely amazed by the quality of the hiking experience here and of the photography sort of adventure which I think since day one has been kind of a I don't know, a journey into the unknown for lack of a better term. And it sounds dramatic, but in reality, it's true. Both Brendan and I had never been here before. You know, this trip had been planned uh, two years ago since 2020 and had been canceled twice. And we'd had people, you know, who had booked and then they'd canceled and then the different people had come on board. And, and overall, it's been, you know, quite the adventure. So to be able to sit here in a, in a place like this, having the last like, you know, 10 days of, uh, of photography experience under my belt and the Northern Lights twice and understanding, you know, how unique uh, the photography has been is very, very cool. So I think Greenland is a bit of a, a new frontier for us. And uh, it sounds like we'll definitely be coming back here in 2024, which is uh, exciting. We're gonna change the itinerary up a bit and uh, we're not gonna hike the Arctic Circle Trail, which was the original idea, but I think both Brendan and I have sort of decided that it's it's better to do it the way that we've been doing it with a couple of domestic flights, you know, prob probably another overnight ferry and a couple of new destinations along the western coast here. And then, I mean, honestly, I've, I've been told a lot about the east part of Greenland as well, which is another frontier, which I think could be, uh, you know, uh, one day explored uh, in regard to a photography trip. But for this one, for the first one, it's been an absolute blast so far. And what I wanna do to end this video is share with you uh, a selection of the best images that I've captured over the last 10 days. Um, it's been a wild ride, a lot of photography, and, uh, and I think that I've got a pretty good portfolio of Greenland images for this first trip, and I want you to be the judge, so uh, stick with us here for the end of this video. I'm gonna play kind of a classic slideshow, and I'll share with you uh, what I believe are the best images that I took. And for everybody watching, thank you so much. It's been an awesome series to produce here in Greenland, and and I hope that you've enjoyed the adventure. A little bit more information in every video from Kangalusuak in the beginning and what you can do around there to our awesome four days in Sisimut and some of the incredible day hikes, including the Northern Lights. And then right here in Nook with this very first ever photography group at this brand new camp with Nook Water Taxi. And what a location once again, just a stunning place to end this series. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.
watching from wherever you are at home and uh, I hope that you have an awesome fall season or spring if you're in the southern hemisphere and uh, I will see you in our next series where we'll be going to a completely different environment and landscape and that is in Namibia. I will see you down there.